Hi there, you're watching Kapanad's tutorial on setting up your Facebook Pixel using Google Tag Manager. If you prefer another method of setting up your Pixel, you can check out our video on how to set up your Facebook Pixel in three options, step-by-step -step guide. Although Google Tag Manager is an available partner integration, you still need some basic coding when you're just starting your account or you manage different tags for your marketing and ads reporting purposes. But what are the benefits of using Google Tag Manager and why you should consider using it? For two main reasons. First, you have control of all your tags in one place. For example, Google Analytics or other Pixel IDs. It allows you to have more than one container ID if you are managing more than one website and you want all of your tags connected in one account. Second, you can specify and modify tracking codes on your website's page. It will save you from all the technical procedures of going through your website's coding and manually copy-paste event tags to each page of your website. Now let's get you set up. Start with registering your account. We prefer to keep the account name the same as our business name. Add your website link or URL and choose your target platform. After agreeing to the terms and services, you can now copy a one-time snippet code to your website, which means once installed, all other tags or tracking codes you want to add will be connected. Paste the first code on your header as indicated and the second code on the body of your website script. From your Google Tag Manager, you can manually connect your Facebook Pixel by adding a new tag, select custom HTML, and get your Pixel code from the Events Manager. You can also use the same step for adding events on a specific page. Or take another option by using a partner integration. From the list of partners, click Google Tag Manager, Continue, and sign in to the account that has the Google Tag Manager installed. Allow and finish setup. Complete the installation by testing. Your page has to appear on your receiving activity from the data sources, as well as your Facebook Pixel Helper extension on your Google Chrome. You can install the Pixel extension from the Chrome Web Store. It allows you to easily identify if your Pixel is properly connected to your website and finds error if it's not working properly. If you think this is helpful, give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button for the next episode of your Facebook Pixel series.